Hi, I'm Roland and welcome to Spice and Pants. Today, I'm happy and honoured to partner with Cod Life, a Singapore homegrown brand to bring you a series of confinement food recipes. These recipes are extremely easy to prepare and super duper yummy. I've also invited Dr. Wong Mo Boy, Singapore's very own baby whisperer, to explain to you why these dishes are good for you. In case you haven't heard, Cod Life operates the largest network of cod blood and tissue banks in Asia. They have a huge processing and storage facility in Singapore and in five other countries, serving more than half a million parents in Asia. Expectant parents today are storing their baby's cod blood and cod tissue so that their family will have more treatment options in the future. Stem cells that can be found in cod blood have been used to treat many conditions such as leukemia. There are also many ongoing clinical trials in the world now looking at using cod blood and cod tissue for more treatments. If you or someone in the family is expecting a baby now, consider storing the cod blood and cod tissue for your baby and your family. So Dr. Wong, today I'll be cooking a braised vinegar trotter with eggs. Can you tell us this dish, how is it beneficial for women on confinement? Uh, let's talk about tradition TCM. After delivery, TCM believe that the labor process deplete the mother's chi energy and also the blood itself. So therefore, they need to have food. That means they actually need to rejuvenate back and then they have to recover from there. So if they are actually deplete of this chi, then the, also the blood circulation is no good. Then the mother will feel the wind will go in to the body, invade the body and causing what we call postpartum cold and blood stasis. And uh, also digestive system is not too good. So TCM purely want to do is boost the circulation, reduce the wind, reduce the swelling and strengthen the joints and also support lactation itself, you know, mother after delivery. So that is a pure purpose of what you call TCM itself. Chinese always believe in a lot of uh, what we call coldness, dampness. So they always say to you, keep warm, don't bathe. All those are not uh, quite true, which I'll talk about here in the antenatal class. People do not dry themselves properly. In the weather, certain weathers or after washing, they do not dry. Then they get dampness. Then they got what we call the rheumatism pain or joint pain. And at the same time, ginger was introduced. Ginger was introduced because ginger is a herb that which is what we call keep you warm. It's heating. So ginger actually got a lot of goodness. You know, it read wind, help you to reduce our, a lot of wind. It actually aids digestion, antioxidant, and high fibers. At the same time, also is anti-inflammatory. So it's good, but we must not take it in a large amount. All ginger is actually stronger. That's what they said believe. That's why they use old ginger. It helps to cleanse the mother, purify the mother's blood system. At the same time, they also believe that it helps to expel some blood clots. Why trotter? Because trotter is very high contents of collagen. It's all skin and fat, very little meat. But why they use it? Because you know, one third of our body actually is consists of collagen. Oh. Collagen is very important and also it's rich in bones. Bones is calcium. So they believe that it actually help mother to repair the joint. You go up to delivery in case there is a joint problem so due to relaxing hormone during pregnancy. So that's why they use, you know, trotter. Oh. Wow, that's really amazing. Um, so this sounds all very nutritious for women on confinement. Okay, I shall get started with the cooking and I hope you'll be watching also. Yeah, I, I must learn that. from you, Sifu, how to cook <laughs> it all. Because Thank mom likes to be easy, fast and yet nutritious. Yes, that's right, Dr. Wong. I'll see you next time. Thank you. We have now blanched the pork trotter. I have with me front trotter weighing approximately 1.9 kilograms. In cold water, we just put them in first. This is pretty important because if you were to have the water boiling and then you put the trotters in, 
it will seal up immediately and the scum, the blood will not flow out that easily. So we need to do this step. Put everything in. And then we turn the heat to medium or medium high. We'll let this come to a boil and then we'll boil them for a further 5 to 10 minutes before we remove them and wash them. I'll see you back in a while. Once the water starts to boil, we'll let them boil for 10 minutes or so and then we'll remove them from heat and wash them up before we proceed to the next step. We'll now put the dish together, heat up a pot, pour in 2 tablespoons of sesame oil. We do not need to wait for the sesame oil to heat up. We'll now add in 200 grams of old ginger, lightly smashed. Just fry them for a few minutes until you can smell the beautiful aroma from the ginger. I believe that in Chinese tradition, most of the ladies in confinement actually has this dish. But of course, it's not just limited to the ladies in confinement. Everybody can actually eat this. And this is actually one of my mom's favorite too. The combination of sesame oil as well as ginger really makes this dish very, very fragrant. Wow, smells really good. Once you see that the ginger is starting to brown, we we'll add in our vinegar. This recipe is from a very experienced confinement lady and she recommend this brand, which is Chang Kong Thai, Swang Liao, black vinegar. It's very good for this dish. So I'll pour in the full bottle. The whole bottle is 750 ml. And I'll also add in 350 milliliters of water. We will now add in our pig trotter. And I'm also adding in six pieces of hard boiled egg. You will now wait for this to come to a boil. You can put the lid on so that it will boil faster. Let's have a look to see whether it's boiling or not. Once it's boiling, you put the lid back on. Turn down the heat to low and let this simmer for one and a half hours. I'll see you back in a while. We've been simmering the pig trotter for one and a half hours. Let's have a look. Oh, it smells really good. Now add a little bit of seasoning to this. I will be adding in 150 grams of palm sugar or gula melaka. We need to melt this. Of course, if you do not want it that sweet, you can reduce the amount of gula melaka being used. And we need to add in a little bit of salt. Now season to your own liking. I will be using one teaspoon of salt for this. Just give it a light stir. Look at how beautiful the color is. This is going to be so delicious. Now we'll put the lid back on and let this boil for another 5 minutes just to melt the gula melaka. I'll see you back in a while. The pig trotter should be done already. Let's have a look. Wow, smells really, really very good. Just give it a light stir and we can serve this now. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Try the sauce. Wow, this is very appetizing. A little bit sweet and very nice vinegar taste. Try the pork. Mm. Literally melt in your mouth. This is really good. So before I go, if you're pregnant now, I would like to remind you to consider cod blood banking with cod life. You have only one chance to do so.